on the 30th of September in 1986, um, Gary went to work on the Tuesday morning and um, unfortunately he didn't come home. He, um, he was in hospital for a further three weeks or 21, 20 days and uh, this was due to a horrific explosion. A lad had, uh, was doing his night shift and they were feeding the furnace. They, I don't know a great deal about it, but they actually, um, to keep it at, at a certain temperature and the slag, etc. so they, they feed it with salt and potash, I believe. And this particular evening, um, the lad decided he, I think he needed more potash, so he had to go to another building to get it. And when he did that, he saw the salt bags that he believed were salt bags there too. And he thought, oh, I may as well take a couple back with me and question himself because when he saw the salt bags they weren't labelled. It turned out that it wasn't salt, it was sodium nitrate and which of course is an explosive. Now obviously that evening it was okay. Then very early the early shift came on in the morning and apparently there was a very small explosion from what we understand. And um, so the supervisor, who was our boy Gary, and the foreman were called down to find out to see, you know, what was happening. And within minutes, uh, there was just an absolute massive explosion. Now this, unfortunately, took four men's lives and left one seriously injured and several others injured as well. Um, whereas I believe now we have to talk, we have to, if you have an issue, if you're unsure about something, ask, tell someone, let them know, let them check it out. And the other, other part was that the employer, someone knew that that was on the plant and supposedly the manager that had left that company only three months prior did know that it was on that plant. So I think it's neglect on both parts um, in the sense that um, there wasn't training, there wasn't education, there was no labelling on the bags, which um, I believe since um, did bring the issue forward as far as um, labelling coming in and hazards being um, implemented into to all workplaces, um, which we believe that would help to, to prevent these things from ever happening again.